Hey guys, so I'm thinking of doing like a rose gold makeup look today because I've actually never done a rose gold look on my channel and I just love, I just love a good ro rose gold like smoky eye. So I thought I would do that one for you today. And I have a few like rose gold products that are like new to my collection so I thought I'd just use those for you guys and to show you. A little rose gold tutorial, so let's get so straight there. So let's get to it. I mean, you guys know they're just now always chucking the hair back. <laughs> okay. So first I'm going to prime my lids. I'm going to go in with my usual, the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. It's good because it just creates such an even base for the eyeshadow. So I'm just applying this on and carving out my brow as well while I'm at it. So guys, it was my 21st birthday on Sunday. Oh, I'm 21. I'm now legally an adult all around the world. <laughs> And it was so sweet. My work colleagues bought me like a gift. And I had just a nice quiet Sunday with the fam. I've been so busy with work and everything lately. I wasn't really wanting something crazy. And because I'm going away for like a few months this year. That's like my birthday celebration. So instead of having a big birthday party and stuff. Me and my sister decided to put the money towards like a trip and we decided to just do a small thing with our friends but I don't know like I don't really feel any older <laughs> it's like oh I'm 21 I know when I turned nine, like from 19 to 20 that was like a huge deal for me in my mind like I hit the 20s I've like left the teens and there we go I also like pour it, brought it in towards my inner corners because I'm going to do a really vibrant inner corner highlight so I like to have it kind of primed so it stands out more. But let's move on to the shadow. So I have a few Napoleon Purtis shadows and pigments with me which is like the main rose gold tone which I want to use but I'm also going to pair it with my Morphe 350 palette today. So I'm thinking of sticking with this like selection of tones here and then fading it into the rose gold. I think I'll do a halo smoky eye today. I think that's kind of what I'm feeling. So I'm going to first of all take these two like shades, this like medium brown tone and this like soft orange shade and place that as a transition color through the crease. And because it's a halo smoky eye, I'm bringing it in towards the inner corner to round the eyes out just a little bit. I still kind of want to keep it a bit with the elongated look but I am going to be making it a bit of a halo like I said so just bring it a bit through here too. Next taking this corally shade and this medium brown shade I'm going to whack them through the crease just below where we placed the transition colours. And as I apply the shadow, I'm just looking slightly down so that I can kind of fit it into my crease and just let my crease guide the brush as I do those windscreen wiper motions. I'm just bring it on my outer corner as well. Just a little bit. And taking that initial brush with the previous shades and just softening the edges. I haven't really added any product to it, so just whatever's on the brush. Then taking this maroon brown shade, I'm going to place this on my inner and outer corners and lightly buff whatever's left through the crease. And again, I'm looking down so that I can find my natural crease. I'm just letting the bristles fall into the groove and just guide that product through. Relax all. It's like a little C shape on the eye. And then using those previous shades on that same dome shape brush, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just blending out the edges. Just the very outer edges. Next, 
For the center of the lid, I'm going to take the Napoleon Purtis eyeshadow in the shade Sparkling Bubbly. It's a beautiful rosy gold shade, a bit champagne -y as well. And I'm just going to place this, like I said, all over that clear space that we haven't touched yet. So the center of the lid. Oh, damn. I'm in love with this eyeshadow. Don't worry about really fading it into the inner and outer corner yet. Just kind of pack it on for now. And taking a little bit of that maroon shade and just softening the transition into the brown with that shade. I'm actually grabbing these two deeper brown shades from the Morphe palette and packing them on the very outer corner. And a little bit through the crease just a little bit. The reason why I'm only packing it on the outer corner of the eye and the outer crease is because like I said at the beginning I want to keep that elongated eye shape even though it is a like halo eye. So by having it a little bit darker in the set in the inner corners it's still going to create that halo but then I've also got the almond shape with the darker outer corner. And then back in with that maroon shade to diffuse the any any harsh lines. And then this corally shade and that medium brown shade. Oh, I just love this shadow. Anyways, I'm just bringing it back a little bit. Right in the center. And just whatever's left on the brush, I'm patting it towards the outer corners to diffuse it. Just so that it, uh... Fades. Next I'm taking this absolutely stunning like pigment from Napoleon Purtis in the shade Starlight. It's definitely a rose gold colour. So pretty. I'm placing this over top of the eyeshadow that we just placed down, the uh, Napoleon Purtis one. But I'm just mainly focusing it in the centre of the eye and just fading it out into the other eyeshadow. And I spritzed my brush so that it just showed a bit more metallic and pigmented and so that it lasts longer. For a final touch on the very smack balm centre of the lid, I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and apply this on the very, very centre because I still want to focus like the rose gold is like the main part but just a little bit more of a pop in the centre. Just taking some of that rose gold and just blending the edges of Shimmer Shimmer just softly so that those three shadows just kind of fade into one another so it's like sparkling bubbly and it's star stardust I think it's called and then it's shimmer shimmer on the barrel thumbtour for an inner corner highlight and I'm thinking I might apply this on the brow bone I'm going to take this stunning eyeshadow in the Morphe palette it's like a pinky champagne colour. Actually, it's rose goldy, I would say. And I'm applying this to, like I said, the inner corner. And I'm actually going to apply some of that pink from the Morphe palette too, that pink shimmery shade on my inner corner for a bit more of a pink champagne rose gold. I don't know, just because I like the colour. But I don't think I'll do it on my brow bone. I think I'll just use shimmer shimmer on the brow bone. Oh my gosh, I love this look. Oh, it's so pretty. Taking those first colours that we used, so that light orange and that light brown, and I'm just going to blend it into the highlight. Next, I'm just going to quickly chuck on some wings. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liquid Liner. I'm just drawing a little inner corner triangle. Just to stick with the feline look. And it's not even that thick of a wing, guys. I don't want it to be the focus. I just want it to be a bit of extra something. And here we go. Our wings are on. I'm just going to quickly apply some mascara and lashes and be right back, hun. So for lashes, I went in with my Ardell Demi Wispies. Just because I didn't want anything too intense. I loved the eyeshadow so much. I didn't want anything to cover it up too much. These are also longer in the outer corner, so they go with that elongated eye look. Next, I'm going to take my brown eye coal from Maybelline. This is in the Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil, and it's in the shade Espresso. And I'm placing this on my tight line and waterline. 
and I'm slightly dragging it under the outer corner lash line just dragging it underneath a little bit just to about like halfway then taking those two deep browns that we used in the outer corner and placing them along that brown eye cob just smudging it out a little bit and again don't bring it all the way to the inner corner just kind of smudge it out a little bit keeping it to the halfway point taking that maroon shade on a pencil brush I'm just smudging out those deep browns making sure it's the most smokiest out here on the outer corner and just kind of tapers in towards the inner corner then taking some of that medium brown shade and that coral shade I'm just smudging it lightly under that um, previous shade just to kind of create a little eye bag look I've been really loving the eye bag look lately so I just kind of just kind of follow where my natural eyeball is then lastly taking some of that rose gold pigment and placing that on the inner part of my eye the bottom lash line then I just place on some bottom lash mascara to finish off the look Okay guys, this concludes today's makeup look on this rose gold like halo smoky eye. If you guys would like to stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials, then make sure to subscribe down below and hit that little notification button so that you guys can be notified for my latest videos when they release. Otherwise guys, I'll see you very soon. Have an amazing day and yeah, bye.